totally out of control. So, um, no, yeah. we're, we're fans of you, you know, cause you, you evaluate cars and you're evaluating something that, that we have subscribed, right? We believe in the mission of the Tesla and the thing yeah. and electric cars, right? And, and I'm like, Oh, wait a minute. You're an insider in this, in, in this industry and you're giving the okay. Or oh, you're not just the okay, but you're also saying like, Hey, this needs to, right? Yes. You, you're yeah. like, you're, evaluating this for what it is and if if they need to right. work on making door panels or door gaps you know even like you you'll call it how it is it's not just like you're just one of these fan right. Um, right so i had i had good things to say about a variety of different cars that we've torn apart and i had good things to say about tesla and um and i also had bad ones i mean when the bmw came out uh when the bmw i3 came out the absolutely it had, without a question of a doubt, the best FF finish quality assessment analysis of any vehicle we'd ever had. Uh, I mean, it was phenomenal. Um, and it was electric, and and even though it was ugly, even though I didn't like the styling, everything about it from a technology standpoint was wonderful. Yeah. At um, the end of the day, it's a, um, it's a really good, very, very tight um, steering system, Good suspension, excellent suspension. Yeah. So the only thing that was wrong was from the uh, from the belt line up, <laughs> or from the door. Sorry, the uh, door sills up. I didn't care for that. But everything else I like. Yeah. But when Tesla showed up with their vehicle, their first vehicle, the gaps were bad. The doors didn't close. Um, there was so many things wrong. I buttons that you pushed didn't go anywhere. These kinds of things. And so initially I panned it because it deserved it. But then we got rid of the um, got rid of the seats and the doors and whatnot. We started looking at the electronics and uh, and the powertrain. Okay, and the suspension. Suspension's to die for. Let's see. Yeah, so Tesla just didn't know how to make cars, essentially. And rightly so. They never made cars before. Should be expected, right? Like they're well, not a car manufacturer. They're most they're mostly like a technology company, right? And so it would be to yeah, excited. but there's no there's no excuse for that. They could, there's people out there that could help them out, even if they didn't want to hire me. There was other guys that uh, that definitely could um, uh, yeah. could do a bang up job on their paint department and whatnot.